All right, everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the DOP, the Pronunciation Dictionary on the RAI site. Uh, I had a couple comments that uh, people are having a hard time navigating the site, so we're going to do a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. Okay, so you go to your search engine, you can type in DOP uh, RAI, and you see I already have it on the auto search and there it is comes up like that and then uh, where we are at the site okay so when you look at the site there's a, a thing here it says write the voice out so you put the word in this box and like that it'll save your searches and then here is search so you press on that and what happens is the, the words will come up um, and you'll see why I'm recording this on my phone. I was having problems with Windows uh, recording, capturing the screen because every time you, you press this, another box comes up and then it doesn't go on the video. So I figured I could do the easiest way to do it was with my phone. So here, as you, as you press that, you see this box will come up. Um, so let's just go through this for a second. So when you do your initial search, you actually have uh, a form of the word here, a different spelling. So it'll tell you here. See, so when you see that arrow, it means this is the same. It's just an alternate spelling. Uh, but you do have to click on these. So here we go. So you'll see that the next box that comes up, uh, or in the next window, uh, shows you the pronunciation of the word. Now, the open vowel right here is done with the accent grave. Right, and then the closed vowel uh, is here. So eterno, right? And here's the spelling with two T's, the alternate. And um, the thing that's really nice is that they will, uh, they have a playback button. So if your flash player installed, you can uh, play it back. Uh, I can't do that right now because I have it disabled. Um, and here you have full lines of text from Dante, right? And you can hear that played back by a native speaker. Um, so let's do another word. So here's the deal. If you're using an adjective or a noun, you have to do the masculine form. So if you do feminine forms, you'll come up with nothing, right? So there. So um, if you search on that, you see nothing happens. So you have to use the masculine form. Uh, there we go. And there you have it. Okay, so now let's do something else. Let's let's do uh, a verb next. So uh, how about this? So if you know the infinitive, it's good, and you search, right? So now we're going to get that other box up. Now check this out. See all the different forms of s today. So you know that it's uh, open on the stress and closed on the unstressed. And here are all the forms of essere. So sono, sei, a, uh, siamo, siete, sono. Okay, and here are the future tense, sarò, and so on and so forth. Now, the other great thing about this is they acknowledge the existence of phrasal doubling. See, so you have words at the beginning where they've written it out in the IPA with double N. So perché non siam popolo? Right. So here's the, here is the DOP acknowledging the existence of phrasal doublings. And you'll see here, see the word a is a strong monosyllable, a tanto vale. Right. So it's great to see in a, a, um, a, a, a in our, you can use the argument from authority that you have an authoritative source that shows you uh, phrasal doublings. OK, so you can you can have fun looking at all of these um, these texts, full full versions played back to you. Okay, so now here's another thing. If you don't know, well, for instance, if, if you're using just a, a, a form of a verb, like say, sono, right, and you don't know that that's essere, right, so you have two buttons here. There's one where you just find it from the, you, you know the infinitive, but if you want to find the internal uh, the internal tenses or the internal conjugations of the voices, you go to this one and you search. And now it'll show you that it is essere is the first thing. See, so sono, I am, 
that is from the infinitive essere. Okay, so now there's also to avoid confusion, there are other forms of sono, where this is sono, right? Because it comes from the word suono, sound, right? So there is that. So you see this version is not the verb, that's that's the, the, the word for sound, sono, or suono in, in modern Italian. So there are two forms. So that's very useful when you're going around with verbs. Um, so let's do some other things, like some proper names. Uh, for instance, how about this one? Lots of controversy, right? So do we, here it is. Turandot, and you see, here it is, uh, Turandot. So the T is, is in proper Italian is pronounced, right? Now, um, the thing is, is Puccini, when he wrote the opera of the same name, he, uh, people who knew him said he pronounced it without the final T. So uh, he heard it differently. So which way do you do it? Do you do it the proper way or do you do it the way Puccini pronounced it? I would say do it the way Puccini pronounced it, right? It's better for singing. Um, but that, that choice is up to you. Um, let's do a couple of other words. Um, okay, so let's do a verb, like a, regu a regular verb where... Uh, hold on. Oh, there it is. It's already written out for me. So, aspettare, right? So, aspettare. So here's a here's a verb where the um, in the infinitive the e is closed because the accents on the a aspettare, right? And when you conjugate it, the the e turns to a stressed vowel and it is open. Okay, and so this, since this is a regular verb, you'll only see the I form of it because it follows the, 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 the normal way. Um, so uh, when you're doing regular verbs, you'll find the I form because the, the, the stressed E's and O's will, will form in a pattern. Okay, so in here we, we see it. And, and then notice that we have full uh, text here and... Here's the strong monosyllable, ah, making a double L. So they're acknowledging that. And see, ah, tutti, see? Um, so, so there are phrasal doublings written out in, in the full text. Um, well, I hope this helps you. Um, I apologize for the, uh, the cell phone video, but this was the quickest way for me to do it. So um, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.